This paper from a multinational group of radiologists from New York, Basel, Switzerland, and Toronto, Canada, reviews the anatomy and traumatic injuries of the mid-tarsal or Chopart joint, named after a French surgeon, actually a urologist, whose midfoot amputations led to the eponymous use of his name for this joint. After a review of the bony and ligamentous anatomy and biomechanics of the talonavicular and calcaneocuboid joints comprising the mid-tarsal joint complex, the authors review the radiographic and MR appearances of the normal joints. Two important pitfalls in imaging of the joint are reviewed. First is the normal offset of the bones at these two joints on lateral radiography, as shown in figure two. And second is the normal thickening of the redundant dorsal talonavicular ligament on sagittal MR, which should not be mistaken for an old sprain. The article then reviews the spectrum of traumatic mid-tarsal injuries, beginning with mid-tarsal sprains that may accompany and be masked by the more common lateral ankle sprain. The mechanisms of mid-tarsal sprains are illustrated, with multiple examples of the radiographic and MR findings of mid-tarsal sprains due to both inversion and eversion injuries. Figure 13 shows a mid-tarsal sprain and fracture due to eversion injury with a DICOM image stack of the sagittal CT nicely illustrating the findings. Since inversion injury with sprain of the mid-tarsal joint is typically associated with plantar flexion of the foot, dorsal distraction of the talonavicular joint can result in dorsal talonavicular ligament sprain, as shown in figure 16. Chopart fracture dislocation typically results from vertical load injuries, such as fall from a height or motor vehicle accident, with the diagnosis often delayed owing to associated life-threatening traumatic injuries. The findings of this fracture include medial dislocation and sagittal comminuted fracture of the navicular, tailor head or neck fracture, fracture of the anterior process of the calcaneus, and comminuted crust fracture of the cuboid. Figure 20 provides an example of this high impact injury in a 27 year old woman. Radiography and CT are used for detection and characterization of Chopart fracture dislocations. MR is rarely employed in this setting. The final section of the paper addresses Chopart joint osteoarthritis, often as a long term sequela of prior mid-tarsal sprain or Chopart joint fracture. This is most frequently observed radiographically and on MR as joint space narrowing due to cartilage loss and osteophytosis along the dorsal, talonavicular, and lateral calcaneocuboid joints. Figure 21 shows an example on MR. This musculoskeletal paper in the current issue of radiographics can be found at the following link.